All right, let's address the elephant in the room. Well, $50 these days do not buy you a simple hotfix. Apparently the first update for the Kerbal Space Program 2 will come, well, in several weeks. Okay, can we actually fix the game ourselves? And we actually can do several things. First of all, let's address another elephant in the room, the graphic settings, especially the borderless window. I am running 2080 Ti on the 4K monitor, and borderless window does not simply function correctly. If you're trying to downscale your resolution and using borderless, the game will render in your native OS resolution and then downscale into 1080 or 1440p, which will basically eat your FPS while loading your GPU. Only workaround is to use full screen. Kinda obvious, but well, still there. Right, next issue, FPS limiter. The game simply doesn't have FPS limiter right now, but as you can see over here, I'm limiting my game to 30 FPS. And the good question is, does it help and how it's done. So if you are using Radeon graphic card, you will probably need to use something like MCI Afterburner. If you are using Nvidia, it's way more simpler because Nvidia control panel actually allowed to set the frame limiter. So over here, the second from the top is manage 3D settings. And over here we have two menus. First one is global settings, second is program settings. Let's select the second one. And here you want to select your key speed to executable. If you do not see it here on the list, you can add it through here. And over here we have actual max frame rate. This is our FPS limiter. As you can see over here I set it to 30 FPS. Make sure that you have this on and press OK. Now your game will run at 30 FPS all the time. The good question is, does it help? And yes, it actually helps. If I am not running my FPS limiter, the game will tax my GPU to 100% while still running like a crap. But if I'm using FPS limiter and running pretty much the same settings, the game still runs like crap, pretty much the same, but I will not overload my GPU. My GPU load will be only like 80 to 90%, which is win-win for my situation. So please leave the comment down below if this actually helped you. And I hope, well, I don't know what are my hopes, whatever, have a nice one.